Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Factorio. We are now producing uh, production science packs and we need to get them over and into our, uh, what, what are they called, science labs. However, first I think we need to shore up our power a bit. So if we just take a look at the map here, we have half a, and it's actually not going fast enough. Why? Ah, I've set a filter on that. Okay, let's go fix that real quick. I do not want the filter on there, but I don't want. So we're in big trouble right now. Let's go. We need to fix this and we need to fix it fast. Down to the coal line. And we need to fix this fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the filter over here. Uh, and no filter and there we go but I don't really want uh, solid fuel going up there because as far as I know the uh, steel plates they cannot use solid fuel for anything. Uh, right now it looks okay. So what I'll do is... Hmm, what will I do? That's a good question. What will I do? this is okay I mean it'll be okay for power for now we do need a lot more coal though I want to at least get another uh, row of coal up and running so we have like uh, we have over here we have two full lines two and a half and I want this to be a full line as well so that's what we're going to do so that means that we need uh, 20 or 10 burner, uh, what are they called, and where are they, R, where are they, there they are, boilers, 10 of those, and then we need 20 steam engines. We need to get some iron gear wheels. Let's pick up some iron gear wheels here. Uh, we need more iron plate. There, I think that's 20. and then we need some burner inserters we have that all right good so let's run back and get all of that set up and then we'll get the uh, production science over to uh, our science facility or our uh, research labs okay see and hopefully this will ensure that we don't run out of, out of power again anytime soon so like that whoops all right we need some pipe 
there. And we need our uh, what are they called? Steam engines. We need the steam engines. All right. Oops. Oops. Last one. Oh, where I go? There. There we go. And then we need some power poles. Let's just actually I'll just stick these in here. I don't have much use anywhere else, but here they're actually quite okay. And we need our burners. There we go. Oops. There we go. All right. So that's a bit more power for us. Not that much more, but some. And how is the power situation? So oh, it's looking quite okay right now. Quite okay. I actually think we're producing enough coal now that we don't need to have. Uh, let's just do like that. Make sure it's the right way around. And it's fine. I don't care that it's running over there for a little bit. Okay. Well, that's good. Then we need to get the science going. And let's see. Can have one more here at the bottom. It means that this will have to come down one. Uh, what? No, it doesn't. Because we can do like this. And we'll do like this. And we'll have a splitter here. And then we'll run it up along uh, this stuff, I think. That's science. There. And we'll just get it in all the way. Uh, the belt. So that we... Oops. And start getting that science going as well. Actually, what we could do now that I think of it, or can we now? No, let's leave it on two belts. I was thinking that we could put it on the same line as the other one, but uh, in case one of them gets backed up, then we'll have problem with our ends and stuff like that. Let's not do that, because we would have to split it off again uh, when it gets over to the military science. All right, just keep going out this way. And we're almost there. We are there. And there we go. We have our production science coming in. Very nice. Which means that we can now do more research. Uh, so what do we want to do? I really do want more laser damage and stuff. Uh, but I also want logistics mark three. Coal liquefaction I don't really care about right now. What we really need to do is get the um well what, what is the other science called the utility science going as well we really do need that 
and we will get it going uh, just not right now because I can't so in order to get the utility science going hmm automation 3 might be worth it actually let's do nuclear fuel reprocessing yeah do that and let's see what do we need in order to make some solar panels we need copper plate steel plate and electronic circuits and for accumulators we need iron plate and battery we could do that could also make nuclear reactors but we need concrete for that Heat exchangers for now let's get solar going so solar panel and copper plate or a copper plate steel plate electronic circuit so we have electronic circuits coming up here we have steel plate coming up there all we really need is copper plate which we don't have coming up anywhere we do have it coming up here so that would work we have steel there and we have iron circuits or uh, electronic circuits there as well so what we could do is build it right up here that would work we'll need to move this that's okay we can do that and then we need this to come out and we need to split this off and the same with this so we need what do we need most of we need most electronic circuits so that needs to be a full belt of its own and steel needs to be merged with the copper plate so let's do that we'll split the steel off here like so and we'll split the electric circuits off there and then I think we'll have them go underground we need to come out like so and go under this is going to be a bit of a mess but i don't care right now is about surviving not about being pretty so we're going to do like this and there we go and that's one and let's set up so how long do these, do these take to make 10 seconds do we want to make one a second i don't think that's necessary i think we'll set up five so that's two oops three four five and what about the others they take 10 seconds as well so that's fine here and we need more belt which we have somewhere there and let's get this going actually let's go to there i guess Uh, let's do like this. So, and then we need an output. Which we'll have here. And some long-handeds. 
There we go. And some power. And of course, some light. Don't we have light here? No, we don't. Uh, let's put in some light here. Put in light there, put in light there, put in light there. Okay. So now we just need to remember to tell the assemblers what to make. We want you to make solar panels. There we go. Solar panels are being made. And then we need accumulators, which requires batteries. So do we have batteries on our bus? I don't remember. We don't. We need to get it. Uh, yes, we do. We do have batteries on the bus right there. So let's bring them out and see where can we bring them up. Fill them. You. We can bring them up right here. Actually, actually, we have them coming in right there. So let's just use that. Yeah, why not? And we also need steel plate for them, right? No, oh, iron plate. So we have batteries there. Where do we have some iron plate? We have some iron plate right there. What I'll do. This is not going. I thought this was going to be a permanent bus, but it's not. Or a permanent mall, but it, it, it's it's really not. So let's see. Let's just delete all this. There we go. Um, so we need five batteries and two iron plate. So basically, we can do it on one. Have the input on one. We do like that. There. And how long did that take? That takes 10 seconds. So let's make five of those as well. So get them in from right. Here, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five. Need an output. And do I wanna? Yeah. Let's do it like this. There we go. Input. And output, and that just needs to be regular. And we want it to be accumulators. Oops, wrong button. We need power, not that power. Uh, four. And we are producing accumulators. Now we just need to get it into a box which we will do and I want it to be a passive provider where are they destroying stuff now down there all right so that's the next project go and get some walls going it will do four stacks put in a bit of power like so and the same over here. As a provider there. And there and there. All right. And then we need our robo port to come in somewhere. There, I guess. 
and give it some power will also be useful all right good and we need to limit this as well i think we'll leave limit to a full road and we'll do the same with this all right so we have solar power coming in and that's gonna be helpful in the long run but uh, that is all we have time for today guys we have made some good progress we got the uh, production science packs going over to the research labs we got solar power going and we improved our power situation a little bit as well so very nice so thanks very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and maybe subscribe and i'll see you next time